Hello grade 10, welcome. In this video, let's talk about the geologic process that occur in divergent and transformed fault boundaries. Tara! Our discussion will focus on the learning competency, explain the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries. Now let's discuss lesson 1, Divergent Plate Boundary. Now what are the geologic features formed by divergent plate boundaries? Before we proceed with the discussion, let's ponder first on this simple activity, direction, Analyze the photographs of rift valleys and oceanic ridges and answer the questions that follow. You can pause the video after each question. Number 1. What are common in the two pictures? Number 2. Millions of years ago, the land masses in each picture were once connected. What do you think is happening to the Earth's crust in these pictures? And number three, if this event continues for millions of years, what do you think will be the effect on the crust? Divergent plate boundary happens when plates pull away or separate from each other as you can see in the arrows shown in the illustration. There are two main types of divergent plate boundary. We have the oceanic-oceanic divergence which leads to the creation of mid-ocean ridges. A mid-ocean ridge or mid-oceanic ridge is an underwater mountain range formed by oceanic plates moving apart. In the oceans, plates move apart at mid-ocean ridges. Lava rises upward, erupts, and cools. Later, more lava erupts and pushes the original seafloor outward. This is seafloor spreading. Seafloor spreading forms new oceanic crust. The rising magma causes the ridge to be buoyant. The plates pulling apart cause earthquakes. One common example of mid-ocean ridge is the mid-Atlantic ridge which stretches around the world. Most mid-ocean ridges are located deep below the sea. The island of Iceland sits right on mid-Atlantic ridge. The spreading rate is 2 to 20 centimeters per year. The second type of divergent plate boundary is the continental-continental divergence known as continental rifting. This leads to the formation of rift valleys and later on becomes new ocean basin. When this happens, molten rock from the mantle erupts along the opening forming new crust. The earthquakes that occur along these zones called spreading centers are relatively small. Divergent plate boundaries rift a continent apart. Eventually, a new ocean will form between the two continents. The rift valleys formed will become new oceans millions of years after. Examples of continental-continental divergence are the African Rift Valley and the Red Sea which was formed by the divergence of African Plate and Arabian Plate. And that's the end of Lesson 1. Now let's discuss Lesson 2. Transform Fold Boundary Now what are the geologic features formed by Transform Fold Boundary? Before we discuss this, let's ponder on the simple activity first. Direction, analyze the figure showing the San Andreas Fault and answer the questions that follow. Number 1. What does the arrows indicate in the figure? <laughs> Number 2. What are the two sliding boundaries of San Andreas Fault? As you can see in the arrows shown in the illustration, transform fault boundary happens when plates slide horizontally past each other. 
They are also called conservative boundaries because crust is neither destroyed nor created along them. Transform fault boundaries are most common on the seafloor, where they form oceanic fracture zones. When they occur on land, they produce faults. These oceanic fracture zones form large valleys or trenches that connect spreading oceanic ridges. These features can extend anywhere from 100 miles to more than 1,000 miles, reaching depths of up to 5 miles. One of the primary landforms that is produced by a transform boundary is a fault. Typically known as strike-slip folds, they build up pressure when friction prevents them from sliding until the pressure exceeds the force of the friction and results in an earthquake. One example of a fault line is the San Andreas Fault, produced by the relative sliding motion of the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate. And that ends our lesson. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Summing up our lesson.